them. Discussion consideration of Ordinance 21504, an ordinance amending Title 10, Chapter 2 of Mount Palmer Municipal Code by adding there to Section 10 one one uh, entitled prohibited speaking. Any discussion? Yes, yeah, so I'll make a motion to bring us up for discussion. Uh, okay, I second. I don't know what it is. Oh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, yeah. uh, right, so what, what I requested at the workshop that uh, Mr. Beatty amend the ordinance uh, for the tether is. What this, what this would do is essentially prevent someone from leaving a dog tethered on a leash outside 24 hours a day. Um, it sets kind of guidelines that the, the tether must be a certain length or you know, a certain length based off the size of the dog, uh, certain weights based off the size of the dog, and the tether you know, must allow convenient access to shelter, food, and water. And if they are to, uh, tethered, that they do have access to that food and water and outside of the potential danger, uh, which could be limited to pools, roadway, filth, objects that allow the dog to become entangled by the dog's tether, um, shelter being required for tethered dogs. Uh, and so this is something similar, very similar to what was passed in, in Rogersville a few years ago. That essentially is just, uh, in my opinion, a humane way to make sure that animals aren't being kept on a chain outside on their, in the house, uh, and especially as winter's coming, you know, colder temperatures. It's just a humane uh, way to update the, the code here in regards to the tethering to uh, you know, make sure that, that we're treating our animals humanely. Uh, good, good idea. I've got one question. How will we police it? So I mean, it, it first has to be on the books for the police to police it. That's, I mean, that's, that's one thing. I think the access to food and water is going to be something that's very easily, and shelter is very easily. I understand, but how do you prove somebody doing it? That's what I'm saying. How do you well, there's a. I mean, there's also people that would know. I mean, that this is. I, I think I have enough faith in our police officer too that they, you know, they have that discretion of being able to see a dog. If you can tell that the, the dog's been outside trained with something that's not there. Well, like I know that just last that's, year that's alone. Normal. Just last year alone, uh, Sherry, uh, you had to go check on one of on Independence a lot, didn't you? Yeah. It's more, it's more just it gives it gives the. Uh, Police officers more tools to be able to enforce it if needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like saying that we just. I know there's certain dogs that even like being outside in cold temperatures. Yeah. And I think that we have more than competent enough police officers to, I like to do, do but it. But they're staff already. That's what I'm saying. There. How would, would the mm -hmm. animal patrol? Can they help out this? They've got a full staff now. I think. Can they help in regards to the investigation? Yeah, yeah. They, they would. They would. They would help in regards to all of it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this would be something. This isn't like something that's like speed. You know? Oh yeah, I, mean, I, think I agree with you. I just was wanting to know how we would. I think another, another issue could be you could potentially respond to these based on complaints. You know, I think that people in the community might provide assistance in saying. Do you think to make go overboard some neighbors? Maybe, but the, you know that's something that yeah. the, that will require the discretion that's been discussed. I mean, have you some more to answer, that you can help with? Say what? The time, 12 hours in a 24-hour day. I mean, people that's got hunting hounds, I mean, that's... Well, you want... Th there's, there's some dogs that want to be... Right? Well, they got a dog yeah, if you've got a chihuahua sitting outside, that's a but problem. But I, I, I do think that... I do think that... I do think that it enables the town to potentially identify issues of animal abuse, right? That where animals are being treated unhumanely. But I think a lot of it is also... Um, you know, getting information to the public to so you know every time someone is reported for having done this, right? It doesn't have to be an instance where they get cited. It could just be you go out there, the animal control officer goes out there and talks to them and says, "Hey, you know, maybe take your dog for a walk. <laughs> don't don't leave them out here all the time. Potentially not shelter for it. Get them get them out. Out. So they have water." Dog house outside, something like that, yeah, and be okay. But well, and, and also, you know, this keeps your, you having a big on a logging chain, or you know, things that yeah. are not, that are not good for the dog house. Yeah. So, wasn't it brought up at the county, Mr. Jesse, the tethering? Well, I I've seen job in there. I think Rogers 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 City, City, it was the Humane Society Rogers that Rogers had, that yeah. had yeah. pushed for them. Did John John the the also have some like Yes, I believe so. Yeah, it's just it's really just cleaning up the ordinances of of trying to put that on the book so that if, if those situations arise that it needs to be enforced, it gives our police officers or animal control the the ability to do that. Um, it's not something that 
I think that it's going to, you know, it's not like we're going to be patrolling and looking for, yeah. you know, looking at it. Just okay. in situations okay. when it's needed, it's got to be on the books for it to be able to be applied. Okay. But how are you going to know, you know, like the police officers, we're out doing our patrol, you know, with humans, how, you know, they may not have time to be running around here. And how do you know that the animal has been out? So that's where it comes to the complaints, and it's still going to be investigation versus like it's not straight proof. And like you know, like Mr. Peavy said, it's more of an education process versus an actual trying to prove somebody and that they like they owe us money. The goal is not to collect fees from this; it's to get the education out there to you know to draw awareness to make sure that in these situations where it is obvious that there is a humane situation going on, that the police officers have that tool in their belt to be able to do so. We can't complain that there's animal cruelty and not do anything right. about it. And yeah. then, right. Well, is there any other books that have animal cruelty? Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. well, I, this is more defining more terms okay. versus. Okay. No, I would say also, if somebody cited, they would have to potentially come to court and yeah. answer questions under oath about whether or not their dog was yeah. on a tether for less than 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if they're going to mm -hmm. come in and and answer truthfully, then you'll get your evidence and the judge will decide one way or another. What it's, if they don't show up? Well, then, they, then they're subject to a penalty. Okay, they can't just not I show used to write court. tickets and then they didn't show up and then it was turned over to Bonnie and then Bonnie turned it over to the election. Yeah, so you should, well, yeah, if, if you, know, if you, you fail to, if you fail to respond, then you're gonna be assessed a, a recurring penalty for every day that the, violation is not cured. At least that's how it happens for most municipal offenses. So what would you do? I mean, what are you talking about? You'd get a $50 fee, and that, and that $50 fee for every day that you don't fix your the problem. I mean, there's certain there's certain of our, and that's something we have to discuss, the, the penalties issue, and that will be in the code of fees, right? Yeah. To look at our fee. Because a lot of people wouldn't care. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of people, they didn't come and it was turned over to collections and see they didn't care because they already had bad credit anyway and they didn't care so and that you're going to have people like that i mean it's just so really not force anything you're going to make people mad because around here there's a lot of people that's lived here all their life well and then and then wait a minute and then you come in with this and you're going to have a lot of you're not going to educate nobody around here this is not, but then so are we not supposed to do anything because you know I mean, you got a lot of calls about upset people because there wasn't anything on the books for this because i know when you were dealing with that person over on independence like a lot of us were getting calls about that she was a, a, you know a rescue lady and i said well what did you rescue them from because they're all out here in new york right you know day and night i mean i guess my answer would be that i would rather have i'd rather I guess I'd rather have people upset and try to do the right thing than, exactly. than not do anything and let people continue to be happy. Well, here's the back back so what is your point? I call for the question. Blame me. That was a question. Would you smell it, please? Blame me. Blame me. Just confirm. Who got that? Because I've been trying to dog for 40 years. Blame me. 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 And doing that, they injure their mouth, their teeth, their paws from digging and playing with it. They think it's a toy. You can't tell somebody they have to have water and food there all the time. It doesn't have to be all the time, but they have no, to be but you can't, water. unless you watch them 24 hours. So do we just not do anything? Do, do we not do anything? You don't have any sound. Hold on a minute, please. Hold on a minute, please. Hold on a Oh, yeah, he, 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 he didn't know about animals. Okay. Okay. John's asking for John doesn't accept the We have a motion on the floor to accept the uh, ordinance. I'll second that motion. All in favor? This needs to be roll call. This needs to roll call. Okay. Right. Well, I don't want to mean people. I'll be mad. Alderman Mindy Fleshauer? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. Alderman Jim Gill? No. Alderman Stephen McLean? No, we count the time now. Alderman Darby Patrick? No, sir, yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Mott? Yes. Mayor Pat Stilwell? Yes. Passes plus three. Mm -hmm. 
Thursday, first time it's just an educational thing. They don't know what we expect, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.